Today we are going to look at the process of conducting a video KYC for your client using the video KYC feature in Finexa. How to conduct video KYC for your client? Before you start, you need to follow the following steps. Create a client in Finexa by filling up basic details. Check the KYC status of the client using his PAN. If the PAN is not a KYC compliant PAN, mail the link for the video KYC to the email ID of the client. And finally, once the client receives the email ID, the client will follow the steps listed on the screen and go ahead and complete the process. Once you log into Finexa and into a particular client, you will see the option of initiating a video KYC for your client. Once you click on it, you will receive this message. Please note that once you input the PAN email ID and mobile number and initiate the video KYC, the client will not be able to change it afterwards. So enter the correct PAN email ID and mobile number of the client for whom you wish to do the KYC. Once you have inputted those details, you need to click on Initiate Video KYC. Once you do that, an email link is triggered to the registered email address of the client. The client needs to open the email which has come to him from FinLabs and click on the email link to start the video KYC process. Once the client clicks on the link in the email, he needs to go through the user terms and conditions He can scroll and read through the terms and conditions and then he has to click on OK. Once he has done that, he needs to click on the I accept button and after that he needs to click on the generate OTP button. When he clicks on the generate OTP button, an OTP will be triggered to his registered email address and mobile number. This is done to ensure that the link is accessed only by the specified client. The client will get the OTP on his registered mobile number and email address. He needs to input the OTP and click on Verify OTP. In case the client does not receive the OTP, he can use the recent OTP function to have the OTP generated again. Once the OTP is authenticated, the KYC for the client will be initiated. On the first screen, he will see a list of all the important documents that he needs to keep ready before he starts the KYC process. The important documents like identity proof, address proof, a copy of a cancelled check needs to be kept ready. The client can also go through this process in languages other than English like Hindi, Marathi and other languages. The application will ask to record the location. The client needs to click on allow. After that, the client needs to upload the front image of the pen as a proof of identity. Once the PAN is uploaded, the application automatically reads the name, the father's name, the date of birth and the PAN number from the image which is uploaded. Next, the client has to choose the document type for proof of address. Once he has chosen the type of the proof of address to be uploaded, he needs to follow the instructions which are given on the screen.
Follow instructions basis the document type chosen. Basis the document that is uploaded, the application automatically reads the address details of the client. The next step is the uploading of the cancel check copy as part of the bank account verification. Once the image of the cancel check is uploaded, the application reads and populates the required information like account number, the account holder's name and the IFSC code. The mobile number as registered with the bank account also needs to be added. After that, the permission needs to be provided to receive a token amount of rupees 1 as part of the bank account verification. The client needs to confirm the amount that has been transferred and click on verify. After that, the client needs to fill in certain profile details information. The step after that are the confirmation of the FATCA details. The next step is upload signature. The client can sign on a blank white piece of paper, capture a photo of the same and upload it. The next step is photo verification. The client needs to click on the start button. The application will automatically capture the live photo of the client. Once the image has been properly captured, the client needs to click on next. After the photo capturing, the next step is the video verification. In this case, the client needs to click on start recording. He needs to speak aloud a random OTP number that will be shown on the screen and he also needs to show the proof of identity on the screen. The client can choose to retake the video if it has not been recorded successfully. Once all the details have been captured, the client can the client can go through the contract and check out the details that have been captured. Once he has done that, he needs to provide the consent for the other based e-signing. Enter your Aadhaar number and request for an OTP. Once you receive the OTP, enter it in the given box. Once the Aadhaar OTP is authenticated, the contract is successfully signed. contract will get automatically downloaded in the local folders. The last step is to click on the submit application button. You will receive this message. Thank you. Your application has been submitted successfully.